welcome Tony. Thank you, dude, for being here. Thank you for agreeing to be on uh, 10 Questions for a Biker. Of course. All right, and you don't even know what these questions are. No. Unless you've watched the channel and watched a couple of the interviews with uh, some of the uh, bikers that I've interviewed. Same questions for everybody. Uh, what we want to know, so very first question. What was your very first motorcycle experience? It's kind of a two-parter. How old were you and who taught you to ride a bike? Oh, man. Um, that goes incredibly way back because my grandpa, um, he used to ride tons of Harleys. Okay. And uh, when my mom was pregnant with me, um, she would go on rides with her dad. Um, and that's kind of where everybody thinks where I started getting addicted to motorcycles was was the rumble of the, the Harley engine. So how old were you? Um, negative four months. You were a baby and they were putting you on the back of a bike? No, no, no. I'll, oh, you I'll were just still, around the bikes? Yeah, still around the bikes. So that, was um, the so that was your first experience as a baby. So you've grown up around bikes since you were little. Uh, yeah, pretty much. My dad used to ride, but uh, he had to stop riding because he'd always crash every couple of months, and eventually he gave up on it. Um, but to me, ever since I was a little kid, it was always like motorcycle this, motorcycle that. Like I'd always be like on like the inflatable chopper, you know, with you, like the black. Do you remember how old you were when you first got on two wheels? Not a bicycle, but a, motor, a motorcycle. Uh, when I was driving, or yeah, you know, when you were well either on the back of a bike on the back of the bike I'd say maybe like three four years old right. as soon as I was able to fit into the smallest helmet right. my grandpa would take me up and down the street and, uh, and first time riding so I don't know road. if I can cuss or not that's why I, that's why we have beeps <laughs> you cuss it's all good we're motorcyclists I don't I don't I do not know a motorcyclist that doesn't swear I <laughs> try not to that's fair I that's try fair. not to um, so who first taught you to ride grandpa Actually, I taught myself, really. Actually, my dad my dad taught me, but it was a lot of me sneaking to the garage, because one Christmas- All that confidence is a baby, yeah, and there's a little taller, Huge ego as, like, yeah. I am gonna teach myself. Yeah. Um, you weren't like, Dad, show me how to ride. <laughs> no, uh, one, uh, one Christmas, I got a, man, it was quite a bit ago, where Toys R Us, they hold had on, the- Hold on, if that's not too rude a question. No, oh, I'm sorry, say that again? How old are you? I'm 19 right now. Are oh, you already 19? Yeah, I'm 19 right now. You're a baby! <laughs> <laughs> um, when I was a little kid, I don't know, maybe like, I know I was younger than 10, I was close. I'd right. say maybe like six, seven, or eight. It was one of those. Okay. Um, you were little. Yeah, very, very little. Um, I got, it was a tiny blue electric motorcycle Right. Uh, from Toys R Us. It was like a, a Razor brand electric tiny motorcycle. Right. And that was my first experience, like, driving a, a real motorcycle and then when I got older maybe around like on the sidewalk around but yeah around the sidewalk you know, up and down the driveway like, just like driveway. really just like tearing it up thinking right. I was like mini Rossi you know just like <laughs> just like two miles per hour just fully tucked you know um, and then I got older around 12 years old that's when I got a pocket bike uh, maybe like 25, 50 cc. So that leads on me on to my next question, which is, what was the first motorcycle you were either given or you owned? It would have been that one. Uh, if you want to consider the, the low, yeah, uh, I would say it was. You know, I'm going to move the camera because oh, it's yeah, sitting in ahead. the sun, and these GoPros hate. Oh, hate. absolutely. Right. No, it's fine. Do you want me to move, move over? No, no, no. You stay there. Okay. There you go. Perfect. So, uh, all right. So back to the uh, pocket rocket. Yeah. All right. Action. Actually, there we go. First motorcycle that you owned or uh, were given. So was it Christmas it was, present? Oh man, it was a birthday gift. I remember it, I had, I got like two hundred dollars. It was like, it was crazy. Um, How old were you? Uh, I was like 12, 13. I was 12, like, 13. what am I going to do with this right, money? I'm going to buy a boat, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> as a kid, that's like, I'm going to Disney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I decided. I you know you're a, a motorcyclist if yeah. that's the first thing that goes through your mind. I'm buying a bike. Yeah, a I'm buying bikes. a bike. I bought a, a pocket bike. Uh, okay. It was tiny, just like off Craigslist, you know. 50 cc. Like 25, 50 cc. The max it would go was like 25 miles per hour, but that was Two like stroke miles. Engine, take an oil gasoline mix. Yeah, it was like oil. Like you had to mix everything into <laughs> awesome. like the the jerry can and stuff. Right. Um, nice. That thing was tons of fun. Um, pretty much learning everything. 
it was so much fun. Of course, that bike didn't have ABS, right? No. So I was going down the street at like 25, and a car started pulling out, and I was like, oh, I guess this is the time where I brake. So I just grabbed the brakes, and I uh, luckily I wasn't going fast enough to do like an endo or any crazy Low stuff. Slide? Yeah, <laughs> nothing. Yeah, nothing like that. Um, I definitely felt like it was definitely like drifting, like it was a a, a ripstick. Um, but yeah, that was right. technically my first motorcycle. All right, question number three. Uh, what is your, um, what's your current bike and why did you choose it? So it's probably the one right behind yeah, you, this right? One, this one right behind me. I this chose, is your uh, Yamaha R3, I believe? Yeah, there's the 2021 Yamaha R3. All right. Now, there's a, a lot of talk on the internet about like 600 as a starter bike or like a 300, but I've had a lot of experience as a kid about riding and stuff and the jump between like an electric scooter yeah. bike um, and like a 2550 like it's miles different um, and I don't want to risk my life jumping onto a 600 bike because it's fast you know um, I definitely wanted something that I could learn on I wouldn't care if I crashed on something easily to replace as an instructor I advise all my new students and new riders it doesn't matter whether you're 19 or 59 start light start small engine capacity get that experience on the road on a smaller engine bike and uh, then build on that to more power more dispensable. so kudos dude I'm, I'm i'm proud that you're on a, a an r3 that's awesome tons of fun we'll do be a walk safe. around yeah we'll do a walk around and you can show us the bike uh, that'll be a, another video but, yeah uh, tons let's of keep fun. going I'm with the questions um how often do you ride every single day Every day, man. This, Any, is your, this is your primary source of transportation? Primary source. So it was between a car and a truck, right? Those were my two options because realistically, um, because of COVID and stuff, I was like, well, what do I really need? And then I realized I'm technically an adult. I can do whatever I want. This is my own money. Right. So I got a motorcycle. There you go. I ride every day. Every day. Cool. Question number five. If you could take a long road trip, right, on a motorcycle, where would you go and who would you want to take it with? Anybody, alive or dead? Anybody. Anybody, alive or dead, where would you want to go and who would you want to take with you? Road trip, motorcycle ride. Anywhere in the world, man. Anywhere in the world. Bucket uh, list. Bucket list, okay. Um, I'll say, like, the one realistic ride I could do is uh, take PCH all the way up to uh, Yosemite because that uh, like the Oceanside ride. ride. It's ranked it's in the top love. 10 of all motorcycle rides, I think, in the world to do the Pacific Coast Highway. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then like total like dream, like the dream ride. Right. Yeah, I believe it's called like the Dragon Crest Canyon. Yep. Uh, somewhere in like... Dragon Tail. Yes. Yeah, somewhere Midwest or something yeah. like that. It's very windy and I love corners right. that's right well i think this afternoon we're going to be doing my mini dragon tail which is the placerita canyon from here into the san fernando valley so you'll get to experience uh about 100 corners in only a few miles it's a lot of a lot of turns a lot of fun so, looking forward to it yeah all right cool thank you for that and who would you want to go with oh rossi that's rossi? that's oh. that's an easy that's yeah an easy everything rossi. yeah like yamaha fanboy right. like all my helmets uh the helmet i brought today it's an AGV K3SV and it's the 2002 uh, Sun and Moon helmet and I chose that helmet because I was born in 2002 so there's a special connection. I think Rossi would be a great choice. Learn from the best, right? Yeah. Watch and learn. Shut up and practice, watch yep. and learn. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, ex uh, question number six. If you could only own one motorcycle for the rest of your life, this is the dream bike, this is the magic bike that never goes wrong, it always gets fixed, but it's the only bike you can own for the rest of your life, what would it be? You're young, so I, yeah. I, don't, I know you have an enormous amount of experience on a lot of different bikes, but yeah. you probably have a dream bike. What's your dream bike that you own for the rest of your life? But right now, the dream bike is uh, the newer models of the Yamaha R6. Uh, okay. I really like the design, it's very sleek. Uh, I was very disappointed when I found out that they were discontinuing it. Yeah. Um, it is being replaced with the R7, but um, it's just not the same as the Special iconic. Edition, yeah, the iconic. Final R6. issue of yeah. the R6 would be your dream bike. Okay, yeah, that's fine. 
All right, question number seven. Do you have a favorite motorcycle YouTuber or YouTube channel that you follow? Oh, uh, man. There's a couple that I watch. I would say currently my favorites have to be Dan Dan the Fireman. He's all about safety, and I love that. Uh, when I first started riding, binged all his videos and pretty much learned to become a safer rider on the streets and pretty much take, like, dragging my knee and stuff like that, take it to a parking lot. It's Practice, practice, practice. Yeah. Shut up and practice. Up oh, and, and Moto Jitsu. You're like, you're yeah, like Moto he's Jitsu. another one. Yeah. He's well, he's also a CMSP instructor, colleague of mine. So, uh, yeah, he has a fantastic channel. So, kudos to, it's to, to Greg, the Moto Jitsu. Shut up and practice. All right, question number eight. What's the scariest thing that's ever happened to you while riding a motorcycle? To that? That's a great question. There's a couple times. Um, there's one with other drivers and there's one by myself. So as you mentioned before, you don't ride canyons by yourself. No, I try not to. Um, and when I do, I usually regret it because it's scary. Yeah. So this time <laughs> I, I was riding by myself, I definitely regret it. Um, I was pretty much pushing my limits. Uh, there was a lot of ego involved in what I was doing. I was like on the R3, I was pushing that bike to its limits. I was going like maybe like 70, 80 through some of these corners. It's real wide sweeping corners and stuff. Um, I obviously wasn't skilled enough for it and I haven't, I've never felt the feeling of the tires uh, giving proper feedback to you. And um, I was leaning through a corner and I felt my back tire kind of do a little, a little dance. Uh, it did a little dance and um, completely just... You call that breaking loose. Dream bike. Right. That you would like to right, ride. Right. Uh, if there was one bike in the world that you could swing a leg over and ride, what would it be? Celebrity owned, MotoGP, a classic bike. Okay, so you mentioned MotoGP, so I'm going to change my answer completely. Before I said the Super Leggera. You said Ducati Super Leggera yeah. and then the battery died. And then the battery died. It, it disagreed with my answer. <laughs> so uh, this time around, I'm definitely going to say. Don't say the... Rossi's bike. <laughs> okay, no, let, you me, let me change my answer. No, one more no, time. no. What, it's, it's what, if there's any one bike in the world, what would you like to ride to have that experience? Definitely the YZF M1. Not the R1M, but the M1, the actual MotoGP bikes. MotoGP. Because. Those are probably even more advanced than the Super Ligueras. <laughs> yeah, they're a lot more than 100,000 as well. Oh, yeah, millions of dollars. Yeah. And just to ride one, that would be amazing. Cool. cool. All right, man. Thank you so much for being on the channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you for answering the questions. Continue practicing. Always. Ride safely, come home alive. That's my uh, catchphrase. Just keep practice, practice, practice. So thank you so much, Tony. Be safe. Of course. Mm-hmm.